June 25th. The Receptivity of Faith. Let us draw near with a true heart, in full assurance of faith. Hebrews 10:22. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Ephesians 3:17. Faith is our power of appropriation. The pity is that we are so slow to make use of our Lord's resources. He does not force himself upon us. Though he brings with him gold tried in the fire that we may be enriched, and white raiment for our clothing, and I salve for our blindness, and though he knows how urgently we need these things, he will not force them on our acceptance. Rather, he stands and knocks, as a traveling merchant knocks at the door, who has wares to dispose of, and we need to open the door and receive the gifts which are offered, without money and without price. Faith is our reception of the spiritual to make good the lack of the physical. It is a drawing on the eternal for the deficiencies of our earthly pilgrimage. Probably when we look back on our present life, we shall find that our deficiencies were permitted, and even assigned, that we might be driven to avail ourselves of the fullness of the Lord Jesus. We were allowed to wander in the sultry heat, that we might know him as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, we were exposed to wild tempests and storms, that we might make for alcoves and harbors in him that we should otherwise have missed. It has been truly observed that Job's rebellious moods arose when he thought that God was afar off, but there was a difference when he realized that God was suffering with him. Remember that you are not divided from God by a deep chasm. He knows your sorrows. In all your afflictions he is afflicted. We have not a high priest, who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. When Jesus saw the sisters weeping, he not only succored them, but entered into their distress, and wept with them. Are you weary with burdens that are crushing you? Is your lot cast with them that hate peace? Is your heart oppressed with loneliness? Take Jesus into account. Don't face your difficulties alone but meet them in the fellowship of your Savior. Have faith, i.e., reckon on God. Let the Lord Christ dwell in your heart, and he will be responsible for all, as you reckon on him for all. Prayer O Lord, I open my nature, and since my capacity is small, I pray that by love and faith, by patience and suffering, thou wilt enlarge my heart that it may be filled with all the fullness of God. Amen.